in your mind, this concept of heaven relates to like a harmony amongst yourself the, and the people, the living things around you, no. including the soil. See, essentially it's like this. If you feel pleasant in your body, we call this health. Yes. If you feel very pleasant in your body, we call this pleasure. If you feel pleasant in your mind, we call this peace. If you feel very pleasant, we call this joy. If you feel very pleasant, if you feel pleasant in your emotion, we call this love. If you feel very pleasant, we call it compassion. If you feel very pleasant in your very life energies, then we call this blissfulness. If you become very, very pleasant, then we call it ecstasy. If your surroundings become pleasant, we call it success. So, to create pleasantness in the surroundings, we need the cooperation of people and forces around us. Without everybody's cooperation, you can't create a pleasant atmosphere. But pleasantness of the body, pleasantness of the mind, pleasantness of emotion and energy is one hundred percent your business, isn't it? So, if you're feeling ecstatic, you are in heaven. Because your idea of heaven is a very pleasant place, isn't it? Yes. This place, this planet Earth is very pleasant except for the human beings who are cre creating unpleasantness among each other. <laughs> well, this sounds like a great concept, but human beings are very complex. Their emotions are complex, their needs and desires and their trauma <laughs> and pain and insecurities and, and all mental health issues. Uh, How does one get to that spot? Like what you're saying sounds wonderful. I mean, you're a guru. You're a literal guru. So when you sit here and tell people these things, they go, well, that sounds easy for that guy. No, like, no, look at him. It's, it's not He's wise easier, and enlightened. It's not easier. Difficult. You got a great beard. Uh, it is not easier difficult. It's not. It is a question of wrong direction or right direction. That is, you went to an apple tree and you're digging the roots because you're a potato farmer. That is the only problem you have. Your, you are the source and seat of your experiences within you. What happens within you? Should it happen your way or my way? Tell me. Your way or my way? No, with what happens within you, should it happen your way or my way? Uh, well, it's within me. When you say within me, do you mean my thoughts? Do your you thought, mean your emotion, your body, experience? whatever, your chemistry, your energy, everything. What happens within you, should it happen your way or somebody else's way? Well, I think uh, if your way sucks, maybe you should listen to other people and maybe try their way. See, if it happened your way, would you keep yourself blissful or miserable? You would keep yourself blissful if That's you were it. wise, if you no, were wise no, 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 and your no, no, mind no, no. was working properly. But if you have mental That's health it. issues, That's exactly what if, you're, I'm if you're filled with trauma, if you're poorly educated, you're starting from a deficit, a severe deficit where you don't mm -hmm. think correctly. Mm -hmm. No? No. That's you don't? Not, that, is not the, uh, that is not the problem. The, re the original problem, the root of the problem is okay. this. Let's address one step at a time. Okay. See, right now, the simple question is, what happens in your mind, your emotion, your chemistry, your energies, must be your way, isn't it? it well, it's yours, yes. It, it is, is yours, yours, so it must be your way. But it's not happening your way right now because it's in a compulsive reactive state. Okay. So, see, anybody can cause anything within you. So, if I decide what clothes you must wear, what food you must eat, what you should do every day, you will call this slavery, isn't it? Or but the government. <laughs> Don't go there. <laughs>